Anna, please don't give out my identification. Miss, you do have a picture. I like you take it down. So I wouldn't do that. Listening to your story tonight, my mother have seven of us, four boys and three girls. Auntie Dana, we are a close-knit type of family. My sister got married and lives in close proximity of where we live. We are very close. Her husband is from the same place where we grew up. When I was in high school, her husband used to like me before he even met her. But at the time I wasn't interesting. But at the time I wasn't interesting to write e I N T R E S T I N. I wasn't interested if I say type error that still. I wasn't interested in him. Until then I saw he until then I saw he fell in love with my sister a couple of years down the line. They eventually got married and they have kids together. I don't want to tell you how much for you to read it up, but they have kids. My sister and I, we share a lot of things in common. Sometimes when I cook, I take dinner for her or she cooks. She take dinner for me and the rest of the family. It's just like that. I found myself into a position with my sister husband because at the time he told me that he had always loved me but I never wanted him and he has never put down the urges that he had for me. So when I told him that remember that he's married to my sister scroll up one on. When I told him that remember that he's married to my sister, he told me that whatever it is that I must not tell my sister that he wants like me. And of course, I never ever mentioned it to my sister because I never took it serious. Every time I would go to my sister house or be around him, I would get uncomfortable because he keeps telling me that he loves me and he can't get over the feelings that he has for me. Auntie Dana, I don't know. Auntie Dana, I don't know how it happened. But once my sister was not there, she went to town and I was there with him. We got intimate. And from that one intimate occasion, it happened on several other occasions. Until I found out that I was pregnant two years ago. I could not tell my sister who I was pregnant from. He told me to do an abortion because he don't want to break up his marriage and his kids. He don't want to break up his marriage and his wife and kids. So Auntie Dana, I told him that this was going to be my first child and I could not do an abortion. Although I was dying to know that I got pregnant for my own sister husband. When my sister found out that I was pregnant, she congratulated me. She was so happy for me. She knew that I was talking to someone and she thought that I was pregnant for him because in that time when I was seeing her husband, we had just broken up. So she was saying to me, why don't you tell him that you are pregnant? I told her I don't want him to have anything to do with the child. But honestly, I know that it was not my previous boyfriend that who got me pregnant. It was her husband. Fast forward, Auntie Dana, I couldn't face my sister, so I don't really go to her house anymore. She began to question me why I'm not coming. I told her that I was busy with the child. Jesus. I told her that I was busy with the child and I couldn't find the time. When she came to the house, she told me that from my, of my child, I just got a distance from her. Auntie Dana, anyways, I went away to have my child and I stayed over America for almost five months. Then I came back because I never wanted to spoil up my visa. Auntie, when I came back, my sister was the one who picked me up at the airport. Auntie Dana, I felt so guilty. She never ever looked at my child and tell me that the child resembled or anything because she don't know. She wasn't looking at that or anything. She just loved her 
niece or I'm not gonna say if her nephew or her niece. She just love her niece slash blah blah blah. <sighs> Auntie for the old time in the car if you could break a pin, drop a pin, but you're right, break a pin. You could hear it drop on the floor. My sister kept asking me what happened. Auntie Dana, I don't know what to do. My child is now a toddler running up and down. Her husband, he gives me some things for the child at times. But Auntie Dana, how will I break it to my family that I have a child for my sister husband? My child doesn't really look like him, but she has certain attributes of him. I don't have all the attributes nobody go pick up nothing over here. She has certain attributes of him. So if you see her, you will know that it is his child. My mom knows that something is wrong, but she don't have a clue that it's the baby that is wrong. That She don't have a clue that the baby that I have is the problem with my sister. They don't have a clue. It's killing me, Auntie Dana. I went to a pastor. And he prayed for me and tell me to go to my sister and confess. Auntie Donna, I can't do it. I sometimes I feel like just going somewhere and never return to Jamaica for anybody to see me. I just want to be away. Auntie, I messed my own I messed up my own family. I think it is going to put me into a mental health facility because I cannot keep this. I feel as if I had betrayed my family. My brother told me that he knows something is wrong and I must confide in him. I can't do that either. Everybody is observing. My sisters don't have a clue. Wow. Hold up me eye there. Me eye that crash me to rest. Murder. Frank asked my the answer this day. So she's on the live, guys. And uh, let me just make a disclaimer before anybody call in. Please to bear in mind that this is Come Make We Labrish. It's a talk show run by DMG, the Planka Boss, a.k.a. Auntie Dana. And I will not be held accountable, responsible for anybody that shared their story over here. If your story reach out to Auntie Dana platform and persons listen to the story, hear the story, and might have any form of idea or clue as to who the story is about, Auntie Dana cannot control that. What Auntie Dada will not do is give out any personal information on anybody that gives me their story. Nobody cannot call my phone and ask me who, what, when, or how. Please be advised that I have no control over what persons comment in the comment section. Please be advised that this is social media and you choose to come on a public platform with your story and hence in doing so you are opening up your life for scrutiny. Please bear in mind that whatever it is that you might say in the story or persons might have their own opinion of the story and they might put it in the comment or call in to discuss it. Auntie Donna will not be held accountable for what viewers on this platform has to say. I will keep it. If there's any disrespect or any threatening or anything, I will cut that part off. But other than that, I cannot and I will not interfere in persons and their opinion. So let me dissect this and give you my honest Auntie Dana Marigo opinion on this matter. I think that you are a traitor to your sister. And I'm going to say it just like how I tell the other mother. I never know some them things they are going in a Jamaica. I think you are evil to your sister. You see, if somebody takes somebody man out of the road with a total stranger, 
that is different when it comes to mother family and friends you cross the boundary line now if when i listen to your story you say when you were going to school your sister husband liked you then why didn't you take him then why did you wait until he got married to your sister and you go around him and your sister gone a town and you had sex with him till it bring forth a child i think that you should have held the respect because my grandmother always say blood is thicker than water you should have shunned the man put where the man in a place and say look here is you are my sister married not you are my friend if i your friend married now you could have said well me i got teeth for a little piece or something and you're not even supposed to do that but your sister husband you should have stopped him in him truck and said no i'm a sister you're married to if you did like me because you have some dirty man out there where we are look you and then you get you and them to say you have one nice little sister too and them go out for the sister and get the sister now you hear what i'm telling you the first thing him said to you say is that you must do an abortion if him did love you remember you know him sis your sister he would have never have sex with you without no condom because remember he must sleep with your sister no him no want you because more than likely him, him, him is in love with him wife that time sister and him no want to mash up the relationship because him have picked with her so him might tell you know the other sister if you do an abortion at the end of the day if your sister lose her husband that's fine which in she got hurt but you feel lose your sister and your whole family because of this one perpetrator this one man will not have no respect for either you nor your sister nor the children them where him have you have done something that i don't know how you go and get to the side the both of you are sisters and both of you know have picked for the same man one of it legally and the other one out of where they call it now wedlock because remember you know you mash up your whole family and more than likely some family member going to pick up this story i am not putting it out there i am going off based on what you tell me more than likely somebody going to read this and realize or come to the realization who until then has no control so if it was me like you me go back and foreign and not come back because people like you for still tell your sister life for good if it was me like you me go here foreign and do and come back and if you love your sister as oh you say you love her go to her woman up turn up and tell her what you do make she get rid of that that culprit because any man will sleep with him sister him wife sister is not a man for she their own any man when married to a woman and sleep with her blood sister is not a man for she their own so right here in a my dana marie go look opinion you gonna sit down and dissect if you love the pitney or love the man over your sister that you now go woman up and come to her and tell her exactly what happened with you and him and make she let him go because your sister whether she have 10 pick the theme whether she have five pick the theme or whether she have one pick the theme she does not deserve to be in a relationship like this we know say people not cheat in a relationship but when it come to sister because me couldn't sleep with my sister man when we say me couldn't sleep with my sister man if me go to road go take a man that different but me own a sister with me and i saw the same breast where we have your card to you might be the 
I don't know if you see the sister with anything or you see the sister relationship and you get jealous or you get me no know what could have caused you after him did I look here when you go to school and you not take him where you did I try to prove what were you trying to prove because oh look now Somewhere down the line, your sister are going to know, say, you have a child, see, or husband. Because nothing no hide. You can't hide from man, but you can't hide from God. Something are going to come up. So what kind of name you give the child? Please answer me on that. Did you give the child your name or the husband name? Why you do it, sister? She know tonight, Auntie Dana, this platform is a way for her to confess. I don't know if she want to call in and confess. I am coming off this life. I can't deal with this. Wow, miss, I don't want you to do yourself anything. I don't want you to go anywhere and arm yourself. I am just giving you my opinion. What I think of it, so please, I'm begging you. Don't come off and go do anything. I am just telling you how it looks. Let me tone it down. I am just telling you how it looks. Because you say you want to come off the line. I don't want to go do anything. And then I come over here. Come get blamed. Good night. Hello. Hello. Good night, auntie. Can I say a few words? Yes. Go ahead. Look here. That lady now. Um... What she's trying to do now, it's her fault, you know. So now, we, we people would have any sympathy. The, the two of them, sir, the lady. man and the woman. And the up, she, go on, she go and lay down with her sister, husband. Yes, it's the two of them, sir. But I am saying then, is my sister a quick enough to say, you tell her then, okay, you know, him did a look good when me did a go school. I'm never really interested in him. I know him a push up himself. Run him away. If it's, it's if it's him pushing on himself and her. But when you're going to lay down now, the two of them have a child and then when you don't know, you don't use any protection. And then you have a child now and then the man will look for you and tell you if you bought it and all of those stuff. Anything happened to her now, it's her fault. She can't come and blame anybody. Is she living with her guilt? True. And she know right from wrong. So she should have pushed him off. Yes, you know. You know about loving, I know about loving. When you meet, meet the man, butterfly and butterfly. So from once you gone into a close place with, with the person who, who love you, anything can happen. True. So my daughter so tells herself to turn it down. Look sympathy. No my people don't do not let me get blamed. Wow. Let me turn it down. I think yes, you are it's my fault when you just stop it and make sure no. you find some she never said to stop it. She said, My daughter said, Tone it down, car. The lady said, She'll come out. She can't take this. So, me, I tone it down. Why should she come with it then? She should not come in, in on a social media with it. She should just go to a family counselor or a police officer. She go to a pastor. To. So, she knows she's going to get bashed because, I mean, she have done something wrong and she knows it's wrong. She knows it's wrong. So, she living with her guilt now. So, anything come her way, I better she keep it to herself. That's, that's all but I, I told say. her when I was on the live today, she had told me to talk about it. And I messaged her and I said, later when I come off the live, I messaged her and I said, you have forced me to talk about it. Remember, social media is not something that I can control. I can control where people are going to type up. So, miss, this is, this is a serious, serious situation. Yes, that's serious. Yes. All right, All right, thank you. Please don't do, do please don't go and do anything at